Hey guys, so since we get my pull list every two weeks now, it's almost impossible for uh, for me to do a video about my entire pull. So I'm just going to do a video about the stuff that's on the top of my stack. These are books that have come out in the last two weeks. They're not really in any uh, publisher order. They're just kind of in the order that I plan on reading them. So uh, first off, we got Silk, number one. Uh, I really liked the first Silk series that was out. I uh, thought it was really interesting. I'm curious to see where this is going to go with her turning into a supervillain or whatever now. Uh, love this cover. A lot of good covers this week. Um, and I've always really liked the interior art uh, on Silk. So, yeah, I'd be really curious to see where that's going to go from now. Um, with her apparently turning into a bad guy, I think it'll be really interesting. Uh, next up from IDW, I got uh, Tet. Uh, this is a variant cover on Tet. I'm not sure what the original cover looks like, but I like covers that have got like uh, negative images overlaid like that. Pretty cool. Most of the most of the Tet variants have been like that. Um, but yeah, this book has been pretty good. Uh, basic gist of this is that you've got this guy. He's in Vietnam. Uh, falls in love with this girl, and uh, then during the Tet Offensive, uh, she ends up winds up killed or she's disappeared. So. <clears throat> Now he is looking back on that from being an older guy who's kind of a little bit broke down. And, uh, yeah, it's been a really pretty good read uh, from IDW. Next up from Oni, I've got Stringers. Uh, this would probably be the first book that I would read um, had it not been for the fact that uh, Silk came out this week. But uh, I love Stringers. Uh, it's about these two guys that are... Um, I guess they're called stringers, but they're, uh, like paparazzi. They go out and they try to get, uh, like crime photos and different stuff like that. They show up at this gang fight and they get this flash drive, which apparently has got all kinds of secrets on it and nobody much cares for that. And so now they're just running around town trying to not get killed, um, by everybody that's out there. Um, this has been really good. I really like Justin Greenwood's art on this. Um, I'm a big fan of uh, Ryan Hill's coloring, uh, period. Uh, the, uh, the like three or four books that I've, that I've read that he colors, I really, really like his coloring. I like that he does a lot of like orange and red type things. <coughs> so yeah, cool book. Uh, next up from Boom, I got <coughs> Cognetic. And uh, Cognetic is a three issue mini uh, done by uh, Tinian and Dominson that did... Uh, the uh, Mimetic series last year, which I really enjoyed. It's a pretty good series. Uh, this one is not really, it's about mind control. And uh, the mind control is uh, kind of like a virus. Like if you get within proximity of the uh, person, you just automatically fall under their spell. Um, and uh, so they've basically taken over uh, the Empire State Building and anybody that enters, cops or anything that enter, um, he's just marching people off the top of the Empire State Building. And, uh, yeah, really like that in this there's a lot of texting back and forth and such that, uh, you know, pretty good. The art in this also really, really good. Um, but yeah, I like the twist at the end of the, uh, at the end of the Mimetic story, so I'm interested to see where that Cognetic, what exactly the twist is going to be on that, because, uh, yeah, that first issue was really good. I got Moon Girl and uh, Devil Dinosaur. Um, I really, really uh, liked this cover, was one of the reasons that I picked it up. And then, uh, uh, Tambor Bomb Villain is doing, the, uh, is doing the coloring on it, and I just really like her coloring. She does a lot of oranges and yellows, uh, really pastel -y coloring that uh yeah i really really like so yeah i don't know anything about what that series is supposed to be about so uh but i believe that there's a moon girl and devil dinosaur so i'll read that see what's up with it uh got guardians of the galaxy number two i really really liked guardians of the galaxy number one um and uh yeah there's uh there's pretty cool splash um but yeah um pretty good book issue one was really good I really liked Kitty Pride being the Star Lord, and uh, I liked Thing being with the team. Um, 
yeah, it was really, really, that first issue was really good. Um, I got from uh, Graphics India, I got the Shadow Tiger. Uh, it's written by uh, Chuck Dixon. The art on it's by Graham Nolan. Same people that do uh, Winter World that I really like. Uh, Graphics India is a company that is making superheroes which are based in India. And uh, yeah, pretty cool concept. Uh, because I've always wondered, you know, why it is that the United States is the only place that has, uh, has superheroes. Uh, you would think that a place like as big as China and everything that they would also uh, they would also have a lot, but uh, yeah. Next up, I got Invisible Republic. This has been really really good. Uh, it's a really good just sci-fi story. I read a lot of sci-fi, and this is one of my favorite uh, favorite sci-fi titles that I'm reading right now. Um, basically, it's about a uh, a planet that we have colonized and um, like 50 years ago 60 years ago there was a rebellion and uh, this reporter comes along and he finds a book that tells about the origins of the invasion which aren't necessarily what the history shows they were uh, real good book don't know who to trust um, just really really good sci-fi stuff next up from Dark Horse I got uh, Paybacks really really like this cover too uh, this is done by uh, Donnie Cates, who I really, really like. Uh, Jeff Shaw, whose art I really, really like. Uh, Lauren Appy, um, that colors that I really, really like. Um, and it's been a really enjoyable book. Um, basically, it's a company kind of thing that uh, loans out things to superheroes. When they can't pay their bills, then uh, the uh, they go out and they collect. And then the person is made to have to work for them for a while. And uh, the people that they've gone to try to recollect from is uh, is really, really, uh, really, really been pretty good. I really liked in the second issue that they were like going in like uh, trying to get stuff back from like this like underwater Aquaman guy that was like you know Superman powerful, and they're going in there you know not necessarily knowing whether or not they're going to go out. Uh, next up, I got number four on Archie. Um, I'm not the biggest Archie fan in the world, but I really, really like this series. Um, I like Fiona Staples' art in the beginning, but I like Annie Wu's art too, and uh, yeah, it looks like uh, looks like it's gonna be pretty good. That story has really, really been good. I'm interested to see exactly what happened back in the first issue with the uh, the whole lipstick thing or whatever. But yeah, really, really looking forward to Archie from Action Labs. I pulled up uh, Tomboy. Uh, love this cover on Tomboy. I don't have any idea what it's about. But pretty much on Action Labs, uh, if you give me a good cover, then um, then I'll pick up your first issue just to check it out. And uh, my comic guy through that my file said it was really good, so interested to see what that's what's up with that. Puppet Master, uh, I think it's number eight, number nine. Puppet Master has been excellent from Action Labs. Uh, if you're a fan of the old Puppet Master movies, uh, then you'll probably really, really enjoy this because the comic kind of ties in to like in between moments, in between the movies and such. The all of the puppets have got really, really good personalities in that. Got Welcome Back. Uh, basically, it's like a like a Lazarus type of story, where you've got this um, group of assassins that are on different sides fighting throughout the ages. And um, yeah, the first couple of issues on that have been really good from Boom. Uh, Still kind of curious um, where it where it's going because the main character is just now getting in the swing of actually having like her like reincarnated assassin powers. So. Got Wayward number eleven. Um, love this cover. Um, I believe that Wayward number eleven that we're finally going to start to just uh, you know run forward and everything. Once again, it's colored by uh, Tamra Bulliman that uh, love her yellows and oranges and different things that she colors with, real pastel -y look. Uh, Wayward's been a good story. I think it's a really good uh, set in Japan type of story. And uh, it really makes me get that feel for Japan. But uh, yeah, now that that team's back together, now that the two teams have kind of merged, curious where, where's, where that's going to go. Star Trek Green Lantern has been real good. If uh, you're a Green Lantern fan, like Blackest Night, um, this book is probably for you because it reminds me a lot of Blackest Night. Outcast, 
Um, Outcast has been okay. It's been a little slow to me the last couple of issues, but uh, there's been a lot of character building, a lot of character development. Uh, the art in this book is amazing uh, by Azaretta. And uh, yeah, it's been a really good story uh, about an exorcist that it seems like that um, all of these uh, evil spirits have something out for him. Not really sure why. Um, I picked up Huck, uh, this Millar Albuquerque book. I'll pretty much pick up anything that Raphael Albuquerque does art on. And so, yeah, I couldn't wait to grab this book. Once again, I don't really have a whole lot of idea what this book is about. I believe that it's about a, uh, a guy, like, making a deal to get superpowers or something. Um, but yeah, the art in it's just, man, just awesome. Love his work. Somebody else that I really love is uh, Sean Murphy. This Tokyo Ghost has been crazy confusing to me, but it's just, it's so pretty that there's just, uh, I don't know. I want to read it. I want to look at it, if nothing else. Um, but I'm thinking once that gets to like issue five or six, I'll probably go back and reread it and have a better grasp of what's going on at this point. I'm a little confused with that book. Uh, next up, I got Giant Days. And uh, Giant Days from Boombox, um, just kind of a corny story about these three girls uh, that are in college and the wacky hijinks that ensue between them and all their friends. Uh, the art on this book I absolutely love. Uh, real bubbly. I mean, it might not be for everybody, but uh, yeah, I, the characters in this are just awesome. Uh, I think that anybody that reads Lumberjanes, that likes Lumberjanes, would probably be a big fan of Giant Days. I like how they always have like a reverse negative cover on the back. And uh, then last, uh, not because it's the worst, but because I normally put something good at the toward the bottom of my stack to have to read. I've got Grayson number 14. That's the uh, Looney Tunes cover, and then that's the regular cover. Um, really been enjoying Grayson. Uh, now that we finished with the first, like, real story arc in the last issue, and that um, he's now working for Spiral, not because he has to, kind of, but, uh, yeah, it will, be, uh, it will be something to read. But uh, that's about all i got to say, and uh, I'm going to get off here and get around to reading some of these comics.